that's the perfect lead into our segment, The Weekend Wrap with Secret LA. Secret LA is billed as the definitive guide to the most exciting hyper local happenings across Los Angeles. And this week, of course, it's all about Halloween. I'm joined by Nestor Hernandez, social media manager of the website. So I know you have a list of all the different yes. Halloween events that are going on. Yeah. And we are going to start with uh, Hocus Pocus. Yes. Well, happy Halloween weekend. Thank I'm, you. I'm excited. Is that what so, we're calling yes, it, Halloween weekend? That's, okay. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the name now. But Hocus Pocus. So Topanga at, um, Topanga is turning into this Halloween Hocus Pocus town, uh, Westfield. And this is really fun because there's going to be trick or treating for the kids, tons of Hocus Pocus activities. And for the adults, there's going to be this whiskey and beer garden oh. for the parents. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like now. So just imagine the space transformed into a Halloween town And this is town new. This Topanga Social just opened up, I think, like six, nine yeah, months ago. Yeah, so it's a new experience. New a lot of people haven't gone there yet. Mm -hmm. And then the South Coast Botanical Gardens, they're hosting something for our furry our friends, owners. right? Yeah. We have to dress them up too. Yes, so South Coast Botanic Gardens is back with their Halloween dog walk and they're encouraging their owners to dress their, their doggies in the most cutest or terrifying, I mean, what, whatever you want, in the most terrifying costumes. Uh, and they're going to have a costume contest. The winner gets tickets to this light show that's coming later on to the garden this year. Um, so yeah, you don't you don't have to own a dog if you just want to go and see cute dogs. This and they're is so the cute. Yeah, this is the moment for you. It's Halloween. It's I love it. Cuteness overload. Now we're hitting like every area of LA. We also have a block party happening in Little, Little Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah, if you want a free Halloween party, then um, Haunted Little Tokyo's block party is back, um, happening tomorrow. We love it because it's free, and it's also they bring lots of community uh, together, a lot of community vendors and bars to celebrate Halloween. Um, we love Haunted Little Tokyo Black Party. And um, if you are not 21, Little Tokyo is, this is part of a bigger event of Haunted Little Tokyo. So they're, they're gonna be having Halloween activities throughout the weekend. Wow, it looks packed, it looks great. Yeah. And LA is hosting its fifth annual Halloween extravaganza. Yes, if you already have your costume and want to show it off tonight, then okay. Tool Halloween is happening. And this is a really cool Halloween party. There's gonna be acrobatics, a tarot card reader, there's going to be a, um, a tattoo artist on site, which is like an actual have, an tattoo actual artist. Tattoo okay, artist. Right. Yeah, haven't heard of that yet, but uh, hopefully it's gonna people be really put a little cool. thought into it first <laughs> right, and don't do it spur right. of the moment. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be tons of fun. So make sure you download the Fever app and get your tickets for Tula Halloween. Okay, now let's not forget this is also a time to celebrate the Day of the Dead. Yes. So not, what yeah. sort of celebrations do we have good there? Of course, not Halloween related, but Day of the Dead is back at Olvera Street. This is one of my favorite um, events because it, it's been happening for over 35 years. Uh -huh. And you know, they, they've um, evolution to bring in pre-Columbian, Aztec, Mayan, and Catholic uh, rituals regarding death. And I love it because it's called the Novenario. So it's from the 25th to November 2nd. Every night there's something happening at Olvera Street. Um, and I love it. This is amazing footage by LA Reflection. So thank you for that uh, beautiful footage. Um, so, and obviously yeah. if you've never been there, great food. Great food. They're going to be giving free um, pan de muerto, which is this Mexican sweet bread, every single night. So make sure you go out to Olvera Street. All right, well, <laughs> I love sweets. I love food. I love free things. And it's also obviously kid friendly. Family, as family friendly as it could get. That's why I love the Olvera Street Day of the Dead celebration. Well, thank you so much yes. for Halloween weekend. Halloween right? weekend. Making yes. good on the fact that <laughs> Halloween falls on a Tuesday, which Definitely. is always like, eh, eh. Anyway, you can find more information about local events. Go to kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.